Huh. Well, welcome back to Rystar. In this part, we will, um, kill a lizard. Yes, that is exactly what we will do. In this part, I will also, uh, pronounce things better. Hopefully. We can only hope. I thought there was a secret up there, uh, I was waiting for it, it never came. Oh well. Just kill more lizards and it'll be fine. Uh, is this trick still here? Yeah, if you hit that... Stuff happens, it's weird. I think you're supposed to hit, like, this part of the tree, but... For some reason when you aim up occasionally it, uh... Counts as hitting the trunk, I guess. This is what I was looking for. If you grab onto this little bird, you can get over here and grab some treasure. That's nice. I... I don't even know what... What are you, weird alien creature? Dead, that's what. That's more like it. Speaking of dead, let's destroy all the plant life. For the sake of a bridge. Now this one uses some new effect that makes it look like it's in 3D! Woo! Just grab it. Don't worry about it. Now in theory we should be, uh... As you notice I took an upper path. There's actually a lower path to take. But I prefer the upper path for the most part. However, if you fall down, you find another one of these. And if I can just, uh, grab it... Can uh, fly up here and get a treasure. Does it contain a one up? Uh, if you run into treasure, you do uh, open the treasure box by flying into it. So there was a star there, but uh, I destroyed the treasure box. And I had it. And we'll create another bridge for uh, this. Uh, obviously, we could grab that from below, but we're not going down there. It's just an alternate path to get to the end of the level. That is all. Why did I jump into that? The PC controls for, like, keyboard are so awkward to me. Should do a better job of being careful. Now I need to time this correctly. This is the worst I've ever done at this game, I swear. Okay. Now there's another one we have to wait for. If we get there, we'll get to a secret place. Contains a treasure and... Doesn't matter we got hit because that refills all our health. That blue star there. And we grab this and we can go to another bonus round! This time we have to grab these, uh... I don't even know what these are. These shiny bars. In order to get to the top. And, uh, yeah. Cool thing is that you can actually grab in midair. Which is super helpful, especially in some of the later levels. Just grab up from here, and... We'll grab a little treasure. Unfortunately, this treasure is a radioactive apple. I don't think we should eat it. Now we have to head back here to want some more points. Which I don't think are actually that important, but I'll get them anyway. <laughs> what 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 did I just do? <laughs> that was that was really anticlimactic. Okay, let go and you can actually destroy a lot of enemies that way. I'm also trying to get that uh, treasure, though. 
There's a treasure up there. Bouncing off the walls can make it like really difficult to control this thing. And you're also you're uh, already going at like a really quick speed. Ironically, controlling Rice in this place a lot harder than controlling Sonic. How about that? Yeah, like, see? You... And you don't stop until the game says so. So you do have to get, like, have a bit of luck. Although you can also uh, grab things to stop. No, that wasn't actually important because I already had full health. And of course... Well, of course I lose health. The moment I get a full health thing. But enough about that. I need to do better at this game, I swear. Yeah, I have to hit that plant in order to put the lights back on. And if you see there's this uh, guy in the background who's throwing uh, fruit at us. Goes without saying that we want to dodge that. If you keep moving forward, it's usually not a problem. Use the text where you were like three seconds ago or something. He's pretty slow. But that is the end of this level. Try to get a good score. Wrong way. Man. A thousand points are good enough. But this time, Rio is coming. Because it's about time for boss time. Now this guy was uh, very, very briefly in the intro video. I didn't even notice that until the last time I looked. But yeah, this guy's in the intro and he's being controlled by this little squid creature. More like a jellyfish. To knock it off by hitting him three times and then you hit him when he falls off. And he'll turn purple. You do need to aim... You do have to grab him just at the right time when he's... uh higher up like that, but it'll come down soon enough, so you can hit him some more and hit the jellyfish again. And once again, I'll turn into a different color. These are his only two ta attacks, throwing down uh, multiplication symbols, I guess, or the letter X, and using up. Yeah, that's annoying. He'll use these uh, tornado attacks to hit you as well. But don't worry, it's not a big deal. Hit him again, and he's done for. And you saved this old guy. Some village elder type of person or something. But with that out of the way, we've completed this world, and we can grab onto one more pole and... Flying to space! Flora, clear! And these are all the extra points we obviously get. Wonderful! How wonderful. It's so pleasant for 16-bit uh, music. Anyway, next time, we'll enter uh, World 2, Planet Undertow. See you then!